HIV and AIDS, the basics. But what are HIV and AIDS? Well, let's start from the beginning. Everyone is born with an immune system. It acts like an invisible force field surrounding your body, blocking out bacteria and viruses from entering your body and making you sick. HIV, human immunodeficiency virus, attacks and weakens the immune system, which eventually leads to AIDS. Acquired immune deficiency syndrome, which is diagnosed when the immune system is too weak to properly defend your body. Once someone is infected, the HIV virus displays little to no symptoms for 8 to 10 years. Because of this symptomless window of time, most people are unaware that they are infected with HIV until it is almost too late. The HIV virus works by attacking the body's T cells. T cells are essential to the function of the immune system. Without them, the body is open to any kind of illness. A healthy human being has about 800 to 1,000 T cells per square millimeter of blood. HIV gradually decreases this number, and when it reaches less than 200, the person is diagnosed with AIDS. With a malfunctioning immune system, this means common illnesses become life threatening diseases. There are certain infections much more likely to be contracted by people diagnosed with AIDS, called opportunistic infections. Some of these include PCP, Kaposi sarcoma, CMV, and shingles. Without treatment, these all eventually lead to death. HIV is transmitted through blood, seminal fluid, vaginal fluid, and breast milk. HIV spreads from one person to another through unprotected sex, sharing injection needles, exposure to infected blood, breastfeeding, and from mother to child. Now you may be wondering, is there a cure? Unfortunately, no, but there is treatment called heart also known as highly active antiretroviral therapy. However, this therapy is very expensive. You can try to avoid HIV by using water or silicone-based lubricants, pulling out before ejaculation, changing to oral sex, reducing number of partners, asking your partner's HIV status, and getting tested regularly. But these only reduce the risk of sexual transmission. The only things that prevent sexual transmission are Condoms, and abstinence. We all know abstinence is unlikely, so condoms. Always check condoms for their expiration date and for air bubbles inside. You can buy condoms at grocery stores, pharmacies, and adult stores. But you can get them for free at Planned Parenthood, Aid Services Organizations, the Health Department, and regional drop-off locations. You never want to use more than one condom at a time. And never use a male and female condom at the same time because they break more easily. Also, don't store condoms in places like these. Wallets. Pockets. Hot places. And cold places. The only way to prevent injection transmission is to use new needles. Or no needles. Can I be arrested for HIV transmission? The criminal charges include failure to notify, I did not inform my partner that I have HIV and I engaged in some risky behaviors, 
and intention to transmit. I had sexual intercourse with my partner and did not inform them that I have HIV. Take responsibility for yourself, your loved ones, and your community. Get tested for HIV today. For more information, look up the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, ASG or other local AIDS service groups, the Nebraska AIDS Project, PAWS.com, and the World Health Organization.